All right, and uh, to another story that equally has found itself into the corridors of justice is that uh, President Uhuru Kenyatta has once again told off governors over the division of revenue bill a stalemate. Now, this is the second time the commander-in-chief reiterated that resources are limited in the country and that the governors should take the 316.5 billion. The two houses are before the Supreme Court seeking an advisory over the matter with a case up in the cards today. Just a day after the newly appointed acting cabinet secretary of the National Treasury, Okuri Atani urged the Senate to allow counties to take 50% of $310 billion that was earlier proposed by the Treasury and adopted by the National Assembly before mediation. The president has read from the same script as his minister. In the current circumstances, while those things are being sorted out, that's where we can still access 50% as bought on account, pending, you know, uh, the act, I mean the bill to be passed. 50% would not prejudice anybody. Because sometimes we tend to operate as if money <laughs> is in a tiririka to no? The stalemate between the National Assembly and the Senate over the division of revenue was occasioned by both houses projecting different figures of 316 billion and 335 billion respectively. The stalemate brought the county's operation to a screeching halt, forcing the County Workers Union Secretary General Robaduba to issue a strike if the workers are not paid. Money is limited, resources are limited. Yeah? And really, I just wish to even take this opportunity once again to plead to our Houses of Parliament, both the Senate and the National Assembly. We cannot give that which does not exist. Let us take what we have. Ikiongezeka, tutaongeza. Lakini jameni, let us just take what we have. What are we arguing about? Because kama inge kueko, situnge wapatia. The Finance Committee Chairman Ali Mohamud directed the Attorney General's office to issue an advisory opinion by the end of today so as to allow counties to receive 50% of the shareable revenue. This even as the matter is before the Supreme Court and the mention of the said case will be on 15th of this month. Within one year, of taking office in 2013, I had moved that figure to close to 30%. According to the Kenya County Government Workers Union Secretary General Robaduba, seven counties, West Pokot, Kilifi, Kisumu, Samburu, Homa Bay, Kitui, and Laikipia, have not paid their workers. The stalemate was also witnessed during the financial year 2014 and 2015, where the division of revenue was before the courts and the court ruled that the counties should gain access to a proportion of the shareable revenue as the houses settled their differences. Chief Justice David Maraga directed both a speaker of the National Assembly, Justin Moturi, and his counterpart of the Senate, Kenneth Lusaka, to find an amicable solution to end the quagmire facing county governments. Abdiaziz Ashim Ibru TV. All right, welcome on board. And I think that very story equally is part of what we'll be discussing this morning as to the kind of uh, stalemate, uh, you know, the business, uh, you know, in matters business sector, we take a look at the economic stalemate that has been caused by this standoff that we witnessed between the two levels of houses, of the house. And of course, uh, President Uhuru Kenyatta candidly uh, maintaining his stand that yes, the governors should work with the 316.5 billion allocated by, of course, the National Assembly, contrary to what the Senate would sort of propose, that is 335. And uh, we've started witnessing the stalemate that has been brought about by this. Uh, you know, uh, the county workers made good their threat to sort of down their tools in different counties, something that will certainly have an economic impact. And I think that is what we'll be discussing this morning. Actually, it's not that I think I know. And Enoch Munari joins me. Uh, before we take a look at what the dailies have to say, CPA. What do you make of what President Uhuru Kenyatta is coming in to sort of, uh, what, he, what is his you know, strategy that he's bringing about to address this? Because then it is a clear picture that it's, he's going to sort of give the National Assembly the stamina to maintain its stance and you know, sort of fail to allocate this amount of money to the county, which probably would have been necessary for the development and of course for the proper running of the county. No, I think there's a lot of uh, dishonesty from his part, mm. especially when he talks about uh, 
hakuna pesa. I mean considering that we just uh, had our budget out like two months ago mm. and it's a three three trillion budget mm. and the counties are only getting a mere three hundred billion, mm -hmm. which is probably around ten percent. We we'll, we are allocating so much money to the national government, mm -hmm. knowing very well that the intention of the new constitution was to try and push funds to to the counties, mm -hmm. so that we can be able to ensure that development goes to to the villages, right. which is actually what we've seen in the last five or six years. But from from the attitude that we've seen from the president and the national government mm -hmm. and the national assembly is that there are no intentions actually to be able to do this. Yeah. I mean, th the governors are only asking for another twenty or so billion more. Mm -hmm. About the amount there, that yeah. we lost in uh, two dams, the, which is Aurora and uh, Kimorel, mm -hmm. that, is, that is actually the portion right. that the governors are asking. And the governors are making it very clear. The revenue allocation formula that is being used is actually wrong. Mm -hmm. We cannot be basing the 15% on the last audited financial uh, statements of the government, right. which is 2015, 2016, mm -hmm. or 2016, 2017. There's been a lot of expansion in terms of uh, how much we collect since that time. Mm -hmm. So the president has to stand up and be honest enough and say whether his intention is to support the counties or actually his intention is to kill devolution altogether. Mm -hmm.